Fair Shot Reality. This is Britt Baker here. Be sure to check out CSRWrestling.com. We have a new blog going up Friday. Global Force Wrestling's owner, Jeff Jarrett. Guys, why don't you go ahead and talk about Ring of Honor on Destination America. Well, Ring of Honor to talk the about. Big news. Yeah, Ring of Honor to talk the about, of course. News. GFW exclusive interview uh, with GFW owner, Jarrett, as uh, Britt said. You got Ring of Honor. We don't know where GFW is going to be mm -hmm. at yet on TV. We know now Ring of Honor is going to be on Destination America. On the hour leading into TNA Impact on Wednesday nights, uh, quite frankly, there's one of two options. Either this means Destination America is going all in in pro wrestling and they want to have three hours uh, of wrestling content on Wednesday nights, or they are going to, or the thought is they're going to use the TNA audience, which gets good numbers, relatively speaking, in the television world, and they are going to help get that crowd over watching Ring of Honor and help establish Ring of Honor. So basically use TNA to get ROH over and then give TNA the boot uh, when they uh, contractually can. I, I think they obviously can always try to keep both promotions if they find that it's if it's worth it to keep TNA around. But from what I said for a few weeks on my column on Trib Live, what I said on this show, I don't think Destination America likes dealing with Dixie Carter and TNA. So... And, and I Ring think, of Honor's a replacement. And I think right now Ring of Honor is an alternative, obviously, for TNA or for Destination America instead of TNA. And think of it like this. They're going to be an hour leading into Impact. That's very understandable and shocking to a lot of people, but I understand it because you're going to give them one hour. Uh, the cost financially is going to be so much less for Destination America to invest in Ring of Honor. You're only getting one hour of programming compared to two hours of Destination America having Impact than having those Saturday specials, which they already pulled. You would wake up Saturday morning and see Impact for three, four hours on Destination America. I'm just a little frustrated, obviously. I, I think people at TNA, whether you want to say Dixie Carter's the reason that negotiations have, you know, um, you know Either way, they've gone. But Ring of Honor is a good product, deserves to be on cable television. I just don't know if they did it the right way. This seems like dirty business to me for T for Destination ah. America in regards to TNA. It's because, pro wrestling. Everything's shady. Uh, but still, at the same time, shady. whenever you have so much money and time already invested into a product, and you're basically giving their competitor one hour before at 8 o'clock compared to 9, you look at any TV show, you want to start off prime time at 8 p.m. with your best. Here's the problem I have. It is so valuable in television to have original, original, and it's mm -hmm. valuable anywhere to have original. My tie, David Allen Company, original. This is original. Good segue here. Good plug. Original tie. ROH is not original programming for Destination America because ROH is still going to That's air so first on all the different markets through the Sinclair Broadcasting. So they're going to air uh, on Saturday or Sunday, depending on your local TV schedule, uh, whether it's Pittsburgh or whatever town, and then that same episode will air a couple days later on Destination America. So what you're so granted for the big cities, the New York City, the Philadelphia, the Los Angeles, those big markets, yes, they will be seeing Ring of Honor that episode for the first time. Mm -hmm. But the spoilers are going to be out there. The recaps are going to be out there. Shows like you know, even though we don't really cover Ring of Honor to that extent, yeah. Other other people on YouTube and webcams will be maybe <laughs> talking about it. So the point is. You know, Destination America, they're, they're replacing potentially TNA with uh, Ring of Honor, but at least in throughout, at least through the rest of this year, until, they, until Ring of Honor gets to a new uh, filming schedule, it's not original programming. My biggest thing with Ring of Honor they need to do before we wrap it up here is they need to have good production because you see them on Sinclair, it looks like they're in a dungeon. It looks like the lighting's off, the, 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 the conversation between the announcers are off. There's no doubt that their talent is good, but you need to up the production value because as much as people bash TNA, one thing that I've never bashed them for is the graphics, the video packages, the great creativity that they have behind the scenes because that's something that TNA has gone leaps and bounds over the past few years, especially transitioning from Spike TV to Destination America. And all those uh, tweets from the TNA roster, by the way, are congratulating Ring of Honor. I'm sure they are actually happy because they have but deep, deep down, they have friends at Ring of Honor. But deep down, it's all a ploy just to get themselves a job. Yeah, I never said congratulations when you landed the Cinesport gig over me. Get a different job at ROH. Day. Get a job at ROH. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett exclusive interview Friday on CSRWrestling.com. Vince Russo blog Saturday on CSRWrestling.com. Monday, we got a big announcement and a, and a special blog coming from Jason Carrion, who we've had here on the show before from Married at First Sight, NYC Firefighter, and Indie Pro Wrestler. A lot going on in the CSR world. We're excited to share it all. Hashtag share the reality. We got Elimination Chamber predictions coming up this weekend.